So what about InDesign? Well, we actually started with InDesign. As I said, I created these in InDesign. The biggest difference about InDesign as of three or four or five years ago, before they started trying to put all the tools in all the software for some ungodly reason, thinking, oh, well, if you buy Photoshop, you can have all the tools of Illustrator and InDesign. Uh, but we still want you to buy Illustrator and InDesign. Just haven't figured out why. I know. We'll make the tools really hard to find and use in Photoshop. So you still need Illustrator. You still need InDesign. It'll work. So why do we need InDesign? If we're using Photoshop for what? Fundamentally, what do we say we're doing with Photoshop? Painting with squares. Yeah, we're altering photos. We're painting with squares. We're changing the color of squares. What are we doing with Illustrator? Smooth curves and lines, instructions, as opposed to an image that's been captured by nature. So what's left for InDesign to do then? I mean, let's open InDesign, and let's do File New and see what it says. File New Document. Maybe this will give us a hint. Anything different from when we created a new document in Photoshop or a new document in Illustrator? It's a lot of stuff. I don't need you to understand each of the things. I just want you to pay attention to this right near the top. What's this all about? Number of pages, star page, facing pages. What if I change the number of pages to 480? Click OK. It takes a little while, but that is a lot of pages. And I'm going to bring up the Pages palette. Palettes are even more important in InDesign than they are in Photoshop. So I'm starting with a palette rather than a tool in InDesign. So look at the Pages palette. What do I have now? Unsurprisingly, I have 480 pages. When we created a new document, we opened that document in Photoshop and we created a new document in Illustrator. How many pages did we have? Do we even talk about pages? So what's the core difference between InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator? If Illustrator is for creating perfect shapes, rounded shapes, graphics, illustrations, Photoshop is just for taking an image that's been taken out of nature and change the color of those little squares to make it look different, to make Michelle Obama frown instead of smile. What's InDesign all about? Great answer! And write in a way that I can't explain today. Because you can actually do full-blown animation in InDesign, which is bizarre. I heard something else. Printed page. Printed page. S is the important thing for InDesign. Photoshop for editing a photograph. Illustrator for editing a logo or an illustration. InDesign for creating an entire book really for creating anything that's using paper in unique ways. So if I wanted to create a brochure, which is the hands-on thing I would have loved to have done if we had three hours instead of 90 minutes, what we would do is start by bringing maybe a photograph into Photoshop and altering it in some way. Maybe I'll give an example. When I was a lead designer for a Hammocks company, I had the task of taking all the photographs for the summer catalog. The problem was we had to take the photographs in February so that the catalog could be printed in time for the summer season. So what's the problem when you take photographs of hammocks outside in February? Even if there's no snow, what's the grass look like? Yeah, it's not pretty. It's not green. So you think I did a little photoshopping for that catalog? Brought the image in with the yellow grass made it green, changed the color of those squares, and you didn't even know it. You still went into Pier 1 and bought that hammock, and you thought, ooh, I want that feeling of green grass. Um, in Illustrator, I designed the logo for Twin Oaks hammocks so that it would be sharp, whether it was on a billboard, a truck, or that catalog, or the website. And then in InDesign, I could create the 24, 46-page catalog. 
really what InDesign is about is not creating images, but placing them. So now let me go to, back to Illustrator. I'm going to save our logo. I actually want to zoom out a little bit. I just want to add a colored edge to it. So I'm going to change the color of the edge to black, which is boring, but... And let's change the thickness of that line, or what we call the stroke. Whoa, not to two inches. Let's do 0.125. Okay, so that's our logo. Not bad considering it was done in seconds. I'm going to save it. Adobe Illustrator format is fine. Save it into our workshop. Save. Going to go back to Photoshop. I'm going to zoom out. And let's just grab our cardboard. And I'm going to undo all the stuff that I did because I just want that cardboard background. I'm going to save it as a Photoshop document. When we do the web design workshop, we're going to talk about the difference between kinds of graphics, JPEGs, GIFs, PNGs, and .SWF, which is a vector format that lets you bring vector graphics in for a logo, resize them. We'll stick to Photoshop for now. Go to InDesign, cover of our brochure for our new company. Let's change the layout. What do we call it when we have it on its side instead of up and down? It's telling me that right here when I keep my cursor over it. So you're all getting the terminology. I like that. Landscape should change in my preview window. I'm on the first page. Double clicked on that first page. Now I'm going to do file place, which is unique to InDesign and Quark. The idea of you want to place other graphics. We're not importing. Importing is different. Importing usually replaces something that you have open or opens up an additional thing. Placing it is just like taking it and placing it on the table. It's there. And I can place something else over it or beneath it or beside it. So I'm going to place my cardboard paper PSD. And then I can drag it if I want it to cover my entire page. It's actually bigger than my page, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to bring in my logo from Illustrator by doing the same thing. Place, Control D. And it looks like I saved that in the wrong place. So let's go back and be more careful. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't actually finish, so let's... Make sure that I say yes, that color scheme is okay. InDesign, place. I didn't title it, so it's just untitled. Voila. Tasty air. And can someone give me a motto for our company? I'm going to use the type tool here the same way I did in Illustrator. You'll notice a lot of the tools are identical. Same icon, same name. Someday, if I have time, I'll be able to tell you how many of them act totally differently in different software packages from the same company. Drives me crazy as a teacher. But I've got the type tool. What's a good slogan for Tasty Air? Saves lives. That's the first half. Saves lives with a brush, with a, with a, what was the fresh air thing? Saves lives with a breath of fresh air. We'll increase the size of my text. Use the same font because I like consistency. And then I'm going to go into presentation mode to see how it looks. So we edited our background image in Photoshop. We created a logo from scratch in Illustrator. Never existed before, never going to exist again. Unless someone runs right out, does that help me go? We added some text to it and we arranged the elements together on the first page of our 480 page catalog. We got a lot of products coming. So, again, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. We mostly looked at the ways in which they're different today.
If we have a follow-up workshop, which we might, depending on the needs of the class, as I said, we have flexible schedule for the last few workshops, then what I'd love to be able to do is show you a little bit more about how they interrelate. But for now, you at least can see that that white area is actually right here. The white area is the finished product, the design, together in w way less than 90 minutes. Let's actually call it like 75 minutes by the time we really got going. We created a new company. We named it. We came up with our core product. We found out how we could change photographs to sell our product in Photoshop. We designed a logo for our product that can be printed at any size. And we combined them and created a cover for a catalog. And you also satisfied your, um, your quote at the beginning of the class. Exactly. Thank you. Let's read that quote again as we pack up. 